Welcome back everybody. This is Kevin with Cisco's Advanced Threats Security Team. In this video, we're going to discuss how to set up your policies for your AMP for Endpoints trial. We need to log in to your Cisco AMP for Endpoints console. Once you're logged in, we're going to go up to the top to Management. We're going to go down to Policies. From the Policy screen, we're going to filter and select Windows. We're going to expand our policy called Protect. We're going to edit towards the bottom right. We're going to go ahead and update the name of this policy to indicate what it's protecting. So we're going to add in workstations to the title. For the conviction modes, you're going to set everything to either quarantine, block, or protect, except the script protection engine. We're going to set that to audit. From there, exclusions are on the left side. Go ahead and click on exclusions. We do have Cisco maintained exclusions. Please review this list and select any software that you currently use in your environment. You also have the ability to have custom exclusion lists as well. Next on the left side is our proxy settings. If you do connect through a proxy, these are the ones that we support. So you can use these options to configure that proxy connection. Outbreak control is where we have the ability to customize and choose um, file whitelist, file blacklist, as well as IP um, allow list or IP blacklist. Next is product updates. So we're not going to need this today because we're going to install the latest version. But if you wanted to do a product update on an existing installation, you would choose the uh, version number at the top and then choose a date range for when you want to perform the update. That's typically uh, mirrors your update window if you have a maintenance window for your machines. You do not need to change the update interval, leave it at the default value. You do not need to change the reboot options, leave those at default values as well. Go ahead and click on advanced settings. We're going to turn on our connector protection password. This is a password that's required in order to stop the AMP service or uninstall the AMP software. Go ahead and click on client user interface. We're going to turn on our engine notifications and hide our exclusions. Go to file and process scan. We're going to increase our maximum archive scan file size to 100 megs. Go down to endpoint isolation and go ahead and click on allow endpoint isolation. Next we're going to go down to orbital and we're going to enable orbital advanced search. Finally we're going to go down to network. We're going to check the box to terminate and quarantine. That allows us to stop unknown applications from talking to bad host. Go ahead and save the policy and you're all set. Great job. You made it to the end of video six, setting up the policies. Please join me for video seven where we will get into setting groups.